let's start things off with that very idea here. How close are you watching the Federal Reserve? Well, we're watching it as closely as everyone else. I'm afraid we don't have any particularly different view from the one just expressed, uh, i.e. that uh, we do expect uh, rates to inexorably track higher, which I think ultimately is a good thing, uh, a normalisation of rates after a very prolonged, abnormal period of rates. So, so again, uh, in common with consensus, we're looking at uh, another three, to three or so hikes this year, um, and then further hikes ahead, all, all quite gentle ones. Um, uh, so uh, I think that's the key thing that we're looking at. Uh, be fearful when people are greedy and be greedy when people are fearful. People have been a bit fearful of uh, emerging markets, but you have been buying EM assets. It, it does three rate hikes and a stronger dollar presage more weakness for the emerging markets. Does that present a buying opportunity for you looking ahead? I think it does, as, as, as do quite a few other circumstances that we've uh, had uh, just recently, in Malaysia, for example. Um, so, yes, I think the, the long-term story of potential growth in emerging markets, and, of course, one has to remember that uh, emerging markets are not all the same. They're, they're, they're very different. I mean, it's a very general expression to cover uh, hundreds of different markets in the world uh, that have very, very different drivers. Um, so for us, anything that causes a knee-jerk reaction, not, not really based by fundamentals, uh, is, is a buying opportunity. And, and we do understand why people uh, instinctively sell off uh, as, as a knee-jerk reaction if rates go a bit higher, if the dollar strengthens, and then, oh, we must get out of emerging markets. But for people like us who concentrate on the individual companies and the individual prospects in emerging markets, of course... Uh, that's a golden opportunity uh, if share prices weaken to, to buy more of what we know and like.